Today we're going to be installing a new receiver and speakers in a Honda Civic. First thing we're going to want to do is uh, pop any CDs you might have out, set the parking brake, and disconnect the negative terminal of your battery. And then we're going to go ahead and pop the driver's knee panel. And then just go around and remove some of the clips here. And this will give us access to under the dash. Now that the uh, knee panel is removed, we've got access to this uh, Phillips head screw right here. Once we remove this screw, we're going to go ahead and remove this whole panel here. And just use your pry tool, find a nice place to start removing the clips. And just go around and it should pop off nicely. And I'm just following along with the uh, Crutchfield Master Sheet, which has this all in nice detailed instructions. And this just slides right off over the steering column. And there is a harness attached, so just be careful. When you do get it, you just want to go ahead and Disconnect this from the panel. So now that this is disconnected, we can move over to this pocket underneath your radio. And it's got a panel right up at the top. You're just gonna find the seam, pry that on off. And then there are two screws right in the top here. One on the left side here, and one on the right side here. So now that we've removed these screws, we're going to get your pry tool back and start removing the entire radio housing. And just like before, we're referencing the master sheet. And we're just going to apply a little bit of pressure at the corners to undo these clips. There it goes. So now that we've pried the uh, radio housing loose, We've got six harnesses we need to disconnect from the back. And uh, you've got a green one, and blue and brown are your HVAC controls. And then up here on the radio, you've got three gray ones and just pull right out. And our radio is disconnected. Uh, so now that we've removed the radio from the car, we're gonna remove uh, all the factory parts and put them in your aftermarket kit. These are all held modules held in by uh, Phillips head screws. And we've got the climate controls, the airbag light, and the vent. And we're just gonna go ahead and remove these one by one and transfer them over to the new kit. And then we can slide the radio in from the back. All right, so now that we've attached the radio to the kit, we're going to move on to the harnesses. So now we're connecting the stereo harness to the adapter harness. And we're just going to do color for color, yellow to yellow. Twist your connections together. And then we like using these PosiLock uh, connectors. They're real simple to use, uh, reusable, and they have a great connection. And we're just going to do this for each wire on the harness. So now that we've made all our connections, we've got one more. We have the antenna adapter that needs to be hooked up, and that's just blue to blue. It's our last PosiLock connector. And once that connection is made, we can plug ourselves into the stereo. And head back to the car. So now that our radio kit's back together, we're ready to get back in the car. Now because this is a video receiver, we're gonna have to run a wire to the brake, line, uh, brake wire, which is here in the center console. It just requires a little bit of force. It's got clips on it, just like the rest of the dash did. Pop that up. You may need to move the shifter, and so what you're gonna do is depress this shift release tab and move the knob back once or twice, and that'll give you enough room to slide this on off. Now there are two Phillips head screws in here. 
that we're going to want to release. So now that we've got these two screws removed, we can move back to this part of the center console. And there are screws here and here that need to come out. And then we're going to look for some bolts up here that are holding the center console in. On the passenger side, you'll have to remove the knee panel, which just comes right off. And you're looking for this bolt right here. It's got a tab in it. Use a little flathead screwdriver just to pull that tab out. Same thing on the driver's side. Now that both of those screws have been removed, the entire center console lifts up and back and out of the way, enough for us to get to our brake wire. And we're gonna tap into that with a posi tap. This works much the same way that the posi locks did. Put your stripped wire through this end here. And now the other end will go straight to our orange wire. All right, so now that we're tapped into the brake wire, we're gonna run this through the console and up into the stereo area. And now that this is through, we can go ahead and put the console back together. And this just shifts back forward. We can redo those bolts and put all four screws back into place. shift back into park. So now we're gonna go ahead and make our connection for the wire we ran. And this is again the parking brake wire we tapped into. And we're just gonna use a posi lock like we did for everything else. And now we're ready to hook up all our other cables and put this back in the dash. We have our Bluetooth microphone. We've got the antenna adapter which plugs right back into the back of the radio. All right, so now we're ready to plug in our radio harness, our antenna harness, and the three climate control harnesses. and we can go back into the dash. All right, so now we're gonna plug in our last harness into the instrument trim panel and just set this up here, reconnect the battery and test the radio. Now we can see our radio is working. And just to make sure we hooked into all the speaker wires correctly, we're gonna turn into it, tune into an FM station. Okay, so everything works great. We're gonna finish putting our dash back together and we'll move on to the door speakers. And we're done. So now we're ready to move on to the door speakers. We're gonna go ahead and get started right up here by the handle. You wanna take a small flathead screwdriver and there's just a panel in here. You can remove that. And you wanna take a Phillips head screwdriver and remove this screw right here. Once that is done, there's one more clip right here in the back. You'll depress the center and then pry it on out. Then we can move on, get your panel removal tools and start prying this control panel out. You wanna start from the bottom here and then work your way around. 
And there's gonna be a harness in here that we'll wanna go ahead and unplug. And then there's one more Phillips head screw right in here. So now we can go ahead and remove the door panel and just start, find a clip, work your way around. And then ready to lift it off. All right, now we can see the uh, door lock and release cables. This top one is just gonna unclip from there. Pop out and then lift from its release. And so once that comes out, remove it from the black connector again and lift that out. And now your door panel is fully removed. So now that the door panel's off, we can go ahead and remove the speaker. It's held in by this single screw here. So go ahead and start at the top. Get some leverage until it pops, and then you can lift the whole thing out and go ahead and undo this harness. It can be a little bit stubborn, so don't be afraid to, to give it a little pull. And our speaker is removed. So now we've got our new speaker. We've already went ahead and mounted it to the adapter bracket. And we're going to take the harnesses that were provided and just plug the positive, the big one to the big one, and the small one to the negative. Now we can go ahead, slide that back into the door, and connect the harness. Uh, one thing was to make sure that our terminals were oriented uh, not near the bottom, so that they don't short out against the door. Uh, that could cause you all sorts of problems. So just make sure you've got plenty of room, and we can go ahead and reattach that screw and your speaker will be mounted. Um, one thing is that we do recommend testing your speakers before we put the door panel back on, just in case anything does go wrong. So now that we've tested our speaker, we can go ahead and put the door panel back on. And we're just gonna do that the exact opposite of the way we put it, uh, took it off, starting with these door cables and then reattaching all our harnesses. We can put our screws back in, reattach our harnesses. Our screw. And our panel cover. And with that, we're done.